Hey everyone, and welcome to the Yarn Journey Crochet Podcast. My name is Holly. I'm the host. I live in North Carolina with my husband and two kids. I'm not, I'm so out of practice that I can't even remember where to look on my computer. Um, so this is a crochet and knitting podcast. Uh, where I show my crocheting, my knitting, the yarn I'm hoarding, and some occasionally some other crafts. Um, I'm like, like I said, I'm so out of practice. I haven't done this in, I think, a month. Again, it's been a while. I lost my. So if you didn't watch the video before this, which was explaining a small life update, it was like 15 minutes. Um, sorry, I have like incense going and it is way smokier than I was expecting it to be. Um, so yes, I did a video talking about where I've been and why I'm not, why, I've, where I've been gone for a month. Um, I am feeling better. Um, I had my endoscopy procedure last Wednesday. I'm feeling great. It was like, Nothing to be nervous about, but of course, you know, anytime you go in for something, you're nervous. So it went great, really good. Um, the staff was amazing. They were super sweet, and they even sent me a thank you card in the mail. Um, so that was unexpected, but yes. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, so FOs, I only have one. I made this little beanie. So it's so... It was supposed to be for me, um, but I was totally out of it and not paying attention to the stitch count when I started and did a size that was too small. So this is really um, washed out. This is a really nice like emeraldy green. It's um, Lion Brand Heartland. I don't know the colorway because I lost the ball band. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but the pattern I use for this, so this is a knit beanie. The pattern I use for this is the knit every knit for everybody worsted weight hat knit for everybody hats by Joyce Fassbender. It's a knit picks pattern, um, that I got. So I did that and Stinking, I was so out of it when I was doing it that I didn't look at the stitch count and I made it way too small. So this became a beanie for my son, which it's even a little too short for him. Like it barely, it's like a skull cap kind, like where it barely covers his ears. Um, so I did this one a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. It's super cute and I love this color. I wish the light wasn't washing it out so much. I'm sitting directly in front of my window because it is a super overcast cloudy day. And if I was to sit where I normally sit, which is kind of in my corner, like this half of my face would have been so dark. And then this half of my face would have been like white like a ghost, like I am right now. So... <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh, that was inhale smoke. <laughs> so this was the first project that I have finished within a month. I mean, I've, I've, for a while, I kind of lost my crojo. I didn't want to crochet anything. I didn't want to knit anything. I was kind of on a book kick and then I kind of started playing Sims again. And when I start playing video games, it like sucks me into this world and I just like forget everything else. So all my other hobbies got pushed to the, push to the side. <laughs> um, so this next one, after I made Emma one, Colin, or after I made Colin a beanie, Emma was like, well, I want one. I want purple and blue. So this is um a I love this yarn I don't know the colorway because I this I've had this yarn for I don't know at least two three years now and it was originally used in a blanket 
Oh, there we go. Now it's kind of showing up. It was originally used in a baby blanket that I sent my sister. Um, so I don't have the colorway, but I do know it is a Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And it's just got these really pretty, like, purples and teals and light blues. And like I said, it's being washed out pretty bad. But, yeah, just imagine it, like, brighter, not so dull looking. Um, using the same hat pattern, just a, the correct size for Emma. Um, and I'm using 4.5 millimeter needles. I made them different last time where I used the 4.5 millimeter needles here and then I switched to a five instead of increasing the stitch count. But I wanted to try increasing the stitch count and keeping it on the same needles. And so far I'm kind of liking it. I don't know if I'm gonna like it better until I um, like have her try it on and see how it fits her. So, oh God, that incense is like way strong. It <laughs> doesn't help that I don't have a window open. So, so that is, so here is the cake. I've used this in a baby blanket and now a hat and I still have tons left. So eventually this is going to make it into the uh, crochet sc scrap blanket. <laughs> um, which I haven't picked that up either at all. But there is a blanket I have been working on, which coincides with the um, cowl that me and Crochet Luna, so Claudia of Crochet Luna, we've been co-hosting. It is the Supernatural cowl, and it is based off the show, Supernatural. But if you don't watch the show, you could totally still participate. You just have to link your project or your yarn to a supernatural story, tale, movie, whatever. So <clears throat> it started on February 1st and it is going to be running until I believe March 31st. I am so, don't remember any of this because it's been a while, but I have been working on a supernatural blanket and I showed this a long time ago. I hadn't worked on it for over a year and this was the perfect excuse to start working on it again. And I've put quite a dent in it and I have to say I am pretty friggin' excited. I don't know why I all of a sudden started talking like Pee Wee <laughs> I'm trying to get this, um, this stitch pulled up more. There we go. Because I dropped the hook. So this is a pattern that I created. I used to sell it. I don't sell it anymore. Um, so it is a, I'm using a five millimeter hook. And I am, so it says supernatural on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can hear me, sorry. So it says supernatural. And it is the start of the logo. Woo -woo! So last time you guys saw this, it was a really long time ago because I only was like to here. But you can see that the image is starting to finally come together. <sighs> I am so excited to be working on this again. Like, oh my gosh. The only thing is, is I wish I would have picked nicer yarn at the time, something that was a little softer because... Right now I'm using the um, Loops and Threads Impeccable. <laughs> huh. This incense is killing my asthma right now. Um, Loops and Threads Impeccable in, I believe it's just white and black. Yeah, just white and black. And then I have red to go around as a border. Now, when I started this, I started it so it could be reversible. And I did the typical bobbins on every spot and everything. And it was, I have to tell you guys, it was 
taking me so long. And I think that's why I initially stopped because the bobbins were taking so stinking long that it was becoming overly tedious. And just doing the color changes in itself was just, it was driving me crazy. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to put a back on it and I don't care what the back looks like. So I'll show you the back. So before, like I said, it was completely reversible, um, which was my plan. I wanted it to be reversible, but seeing as this isn't the warmest blanket, I figured I would just put um, a fleece backing on it and call it a day. So instead of doing the individual bobbins, I decided I was just going to carry my yarn, which is a little bit of a waste of yarn because sometimes there are some really long floats. Like, But because there are so long, I'm thinking that maybe I could cut them at the center point and then weave them in and then that would kind of make it still reversible. But I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm going to want to go through and weave in every single one of these ends. But the front looks good. I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait to get this on my bed. I mean, it's huge. It is. I have a queen size bed and this fits. It fits. <laughs> and I'm just worried that the length might not be long enough. So if that is the case, I will definitely be doing a border. But then that'll also make it wider. So I don't know. But I'm so excited for this. Um, like I'm just starting the, uh, oh my God, I'm totally blanking. The star part. <laughs> I know that's not what it's called. Um, pentacle. I forgot the words. So yes, it is the... Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. Like once I got to that part where I could see that the circle was going to start forming, I was just like, <laughs> okay. So that's all I've worked on. I've worked on a three whole projects. That's it. Um, which let me put back my, my charting, which this is a graph. Like I said, I used to sell it, but I don't anymore because I didn't want anyone trying to sue me for copyright. So, yeah. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys a few sneak peeks of the new yarn that I will be selling. Like I said, um, if you didn't watch the um, life catch up video, in that video, I explained that I have recently decided to start dyeing yarn professionally. Um, because of me getting rid of the graphs, I have no income now. <laughs> and the patterns that I have created just wasn't generating enough income. And I know I need to get back on the designing train. But when I was having so many issues with my hands, probably because of the celiac disease, because that is one um, symptom is joint pain. And this pain came out of nowhere. Um, because I could crochet like crazy before my son, but then after it was like, it was so hard. So I wanted to show you guys some sneak peeks of the yarn that I will be selling. It took me a minute to like process. It's today has been one of those days where it's like, it's overcast. You're constantly like, you just feel super duper sleepy. Like no matter how much coffee you drink, you just feel tired. Like I had a Starbucks latte and I had coffee at home and I'm still tired. I'm like, I need a nap for three hours. Um, so I wanted to show you guys some yarn that will be available. The shop will be opening um, March 1st. Fingers crossed, hopefully. I need to get some more bases. So right now I only have one base on two sizes, which is basically the 100 gram skein and minis. Now, I also have to <laughs> forewarn you, this, the colors that are in the minis may not all be on the big base, um, the 100 gram skeins, only because <laughs> I dyed up a whole bunch of yarn, 
I dyed up like all my mini skeins and I was like, okay, these are the colors I want to have for my first launch, like for my first shop update. And <laughs> stupid me did not write down the amounts to anything. I didn't write down how much citric acid you, I used, how much dye I used, I or water, nothing. I just wrote down the colors I used, and that was it. Which I didn't write down the process, the method, nothing. Nothing down. And I was so mad at myself <laughs> a few days ago when I tried dyeing up the full skeins because I'm like, okay, I have no idea what I did here. I don't remember. So I tried my best to recreate. Some of them turned out great. Others, not exactly how I pictured. So, and some of them probably won't be on the big skeins that are on minis because of the fact that I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> so I'll show up the big skeins first because of the fact that I have less here. So the first ones I have are, this is called Enchantress. Now, this one is one of the ones that didn't come out exactly how I wanted. There shouldn't be hardly any white in here. But I still really like the way it came out. I think it's still pretty. Um, <coughs> so I don't know if I should name this something else. And then do Enchantress where there is no white. Um, I'm not sure. Now, I also have to forewarn. I'm really bad at twisting skeins, so uh, that's a tie. Never mind. So that's like a tie right there that's poking out. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm bad at twisting skeins. They're not knotted, but you will find like one random one that's like, like I said, like that's a tie right there and that's what's poking out. But <laughs> so this is Enchantress, maybe. We'll see. Um, I might name it something else because it's not what I had in mind. Um, and this one, God, why are there pieces of paper stuck to everything? This one's supposed to be Birdie Bots. Now, let me show you in comparison. <laughs> so this is the small skeins, which has tons of color and is more of like a pink base that is not showing up. It's like coming out white looking which has all different colors. There's green, blue, pinks, yellows, black. Like there's a little bit of everything in here. Hence why I called it Birdie Bots. It reminded me of jelly beans. But when you look at this, they don't look the same at all. Like, so this is where me not writing anything down kind of bit me in the butt because this doesn't look anything like it. So this one's probably going to be named something else. It's probably not going to be Birdie Bots because I really want that one to look like this one. Like this came out perfect. And it's not showing up all that great. So um, this next one is Seafoam, which turned out beautiful. And this camera is doing no justice. Um, it is this beautiful tealy green seafoam color. It is gorgeous and I freaking love it. And I know someone who would love this yarn. Um, I know Lacey would love this teal. Like it is gorgeous. Like on here, it's looking like very baby blue on camera and I am glitching really bad all of a sudden. And now I'm frozen. Okay. I'm frozen again. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what the heck? Stop. Okay, hold on. What is going on? Okay, so this is like a very tealy, tonal teal color, but on camera it's showing up like really baby blue. Luckily, I have a good camera, so when I go to take pictures of these, the color is pretty accurate. Um, this next one is unnamed. I don't know what I want to call this one yet because I don't know, but it is so pretty. So like I said, camera's doing no justice. There's like these oranges and greens and 
blue and black speckles or it's like oh my gosh and mind you this was in the same dye pot and these two are completely different and that is something that I've had to um it's a bit of a learning curve because when you are dyeing things if you do a little more speckles in one spot or another like it's going to completely be different on the skein so like definitely definitely <laughs> um alternate skeins there we go so i don't know what this one's going to be called yet it's reminding me of like like a pond in the middle of a forest you know like oh like look at that like some of these colors are so intense in here and like you know there there's hidden color it's amazing and like this dark oh my god i'm tooting my own horn but i am so excited um and then i have this purple which again totally blowing out it's another tonal but there are some spots where there are like a couple flecks oh so beautiful so when I put these up, like this is more of a pinky purple where it's looking pretty purple on there. It's definitely like a pinky, pinky purpley color. Yeah. Um, I don't have a name for that one either yet. So the last two are unnamed. I have no idea what I'm going to name them yet. So here's another one. Um, this one's called Dark Fairy. And again colors are completely washed out so there's like this nice purple and there's speckles of like this tealy green and pink and like this really nice dark gray Ugh. I wish this was coming out better because these are gorgeous maybe oh there we go holding them back here a little bit so you can actually see that pink popping through and like those spots of like tealy green. Oh, they're so pretty. So this is Dark Fairy. Um, this one was supposed to be a little more um, saturated. But like I said, I didn't write down anything because I'm a dummy. Um, I think that's like first time yarn dyer mistakes. So let's get to the ones the way they're supposed to look. <laughs> so I have a little tote here um actually let me put it on this side because i have another tote there we go that makes more sense um so some of these are going to be repeatable some of them are one of a kind um some of them were definitely oopsies like did not mean to do that so those ones will probably be one of a kind as well um so of course i showed you the birdie bot so it'll show it again um yeah, that one's not going to show up. So these are all mini skeins. There are 75, 25. And I didn't even tell you the name of my business. Oh, my God. I am such a good salesperson. So my Etsy business is um, Sleepy Fox Yarn Co. Or company, whatever. It's co. So um, I'm on Etsy and I'm on Instagram. I've been doing sneak peeks of yarn on Instagram. But you guys are seeing the full array of what I have so far. Um, so that's Birdie Bots. And then this next one was an oops and probably won't be repeated unless people really, really like it. In which case, I will have to figure out what I did. <laughs> so this one, um, I'm calling it Neapolitan because it reminds me of Neapolitan ice cream. It um, is like browns and pinks and cream color. So this one was an oops. I was trying to make brown because I didn't buy a brown brown. And it ended up splitting and the red started showing through. And that was not my plan. So, um yeah so this next one is called poison 
it's a really nice dark color. It has like greens and grays and um, little bits of like purple. And this is like a super speckly yarn, but because I use so much, I didn't realize it was going to be like completely saturated like that. So this one, I'm not sure if it's going to be one of a kind or repeatable or not. I feel like a lot of these, it's going to depend on, you know, how it sells basically, because if it sells really well, then I'll try my hardest to figure it out. Um, if not, then it'll be like a one-time thing. Um, so this is Enchantress. This is how the large skein was supposed to look. Very saturated purples and greens with just a little bit of white showing through, like just in tiny, like right there, you can see it's lighter, um, with like that hay color in a few places, but like clearly not the same. So I'm trying to figure out if I should call this something else because this is Enchantress. This is what I expected it to look like and it did not come out like that. So that might be something else. Um, and then the dark fairy in the mini skeins was supposed to look more like this, where there was less white, more pink, more gray. Um, but I like the speckles of the tealy green on this one. So you can see it there, here. So it, I'm still learning. It's a learning curve for sure. Um, this next one is Summer Skies, courtesy of my husband. So it has this nice like sky blue and this bright yellow with white in the center. He wanted to name this some crazy things. He's like, what about Caribbean sunset? And I'm like, does that look like a sunset to you? I don't see a Caribbean sunset there. Um, and I was like, what about summer skies? And he's like, what about spring skies? And I'm like, but it rains in spring most of the time. So I was like, summer skies, that makes more sense in my mind. And I'm selling it. So I get final decision. <laughs> so summer skies, which this will probably be um, on the bigger skeins. I just need to get more. I clearly underestimated how many skeins of yarn I was going to need to start, especially with how many colorways I decided to start with. <laughs> Um, so this one is Cherry Blossom. So as you can see, there's some white fades into a pink with a dark, darker pink speckle into this nice like chestnutty brown. I was going to say orange. What the heck? Um, <laughs> so this one is like super cute. I like it, but I'm not sure if it will be a repeatable one that I want to bring back. It may be one of a kind. Um, and this one is Everglades. It is like this nice acidy green, which is not showing up with this nice black and this nice forest green in here. So this one is actually really nice undone. So you can see like the way it looks. I really want to do swatches of um, all these and put them on. Yeah, I totally just, this is what I'm talking about, why I, <laughs> I suck at twisting skeins. Um, I would really love to do swatches for, okay, we're just going to put you aside. I would love to do swatches for all of these in knitting and crochet because I feel like a lot of people when they do do swatches it's in just knitting and I feel like crocheters like nice yarn too and they want to see how it's going to work up in crochet so eventually that will happen but as of right now I just I have been busy so this is the 
English garden colorway. It took me a second to remember because brain, you know. So it has this nice deep wine burgundy purple with a light, I would say almost like a lilac-y color and then different greens and beige. It's so stinking pretty. So pretty. I don't know why I just yelled at you, but <laughs> it's so pretty. So there's that one. That one I will be having on the full sizes. And then, of course, you guys have already seen the sea foam, which is in the larger colors. Um, this one is definitely one of a kind. This was like a yarn mop, I guess you could say. I had some extra colors still in the pot, and I threw a couple in, and I was like, well, let's see what it comes out as. And it is very much like this periwinkle blue. So it's super pretty. There's only two of these, so these ones will go fast, hopefully. Fingers crossed, hopefully. <laughs> um, this one is Shoshone, or Shoshone, I'm not sure. So, there's a story behind this, because I don't want people to bite my head off for cultural appropriation. I grew up in California. We went to Vegas a lot. Um, and driving through the deserts, you will stop at rest stops, gas stations, souvenir shops. They're all throughout. And you will find hand-weaved blankets by Native Americans in the area. Um, I believe it's the Shoshone tribe. And they would use these colors. And I did not plan this. I just threw a bunch of colors in and basically to see how it come out came out and when I put these out it looked way more vibrant like super duper bright when I first pulled them out of the pots and put them on the drying rack and after they dried I looked at them and I was like this reminds me of those hand weaved blankets that I always saw that were so beautiful and I looked it up and it's the Shoshone tribe, which is in Nevada area, um, up into think I think Arizona maybe, and then upwards. But I don't. I'm. I have to look again. But if I am wrong, please let me know. I don't want to be naming this after a tribe that does not use these colors because I'm pretty sure it was the Shoshone that used these colors, and I could be saying that completely wrong as well. This is gonna be a super glitchy video. I'm sorry. So there's blues, greens, browns, pinks, oranges. Um, I mean, it is just amazing. I did not expect it to look like this. And when I saw it, I was just like, I gotta, I got to. It's beautiful and I want to recognize that. Um, so this next one is Northern Lights. I actually found a picture that reminded me that I really liked and this reminded me of it. I used it for inspiration. So there's greens, blues, purples, and it's not as vibrant as I would have liked, but it's a very understated kind of um, colorway. So this one's Northern, well, yeah, I said Northern Lights. Um, so it's supposed to be like off the Aurora Borealis. <sighs> I love it. I think it's so pretty. So it would definitely be like a muted one. So there's that. And I believe that is it. Yeah. That's it. So that is all I have right now. And I'm hoping to get some more big skeins dyed up, hopefully later today. I just have to figure out what we're doing for dinner because it's three o'clock right now. Um, so once I figure out what we're having for dinner, I'm going to be busting out the, the dye pots to... Dye these up. There we go. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Ta da! Which it's still too tight in the middle. Oh, learning curves. They're fun. So, um, life stuff. Like I said, I had my procedure last Wednesday. Everything went great. I'm supposed to be getting results um, in March, unfortunately, which is a really long wait. It's like three weeks. So, yeah. Um, 
other than that, not much has gone on. I mean, working on my blanket and watching the Orville and Future Man. <laughs> my husband decided he was going to go on a space binge for TV shows. So we have been watching the Orville and Future Man, which we watched all of Future Man, which was super funny. Um, inappropriate at times, so don't watch it around your kids, but funny. Um, <laughs> So other than that, not much has been going on, just living life, you know? So I will see you guys in two weeks to let you know how everything is going. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.